There's an extended version of this video available over on Patreon, by the way, with a lot of bonus footage, so if you're the kind of person who's interested in more detail and explanation, just follow the link below. And this stuff is heavy. You're dumb. Why don't you just cut that out on your robot? Well, that's because the diameter of this is just outside what I can cut on the robot. But now that I've got this done, I can do the rest of the shape as well as all the other parts on the robot. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out to Precise Bits at Think and Tinker. I've been using their precision collet in my robot ever since I bought it, and I've recently been working with them to improve my results with some real professional cutting tools. This quarter inch single flute I've been using, it's becoming one of my favorites. I use it in the oak on the Durest Alarm, as well as in Birch Ply, MDF, and this expanded PVC, and it's cut beautifully every time. I am flying through these parts like they were made out of meringue. Plus, I like their SecureBit storage system for lining up the tooling I need for any project. In fact, I asked Precise Bits to sponsor this video, so if you want to get 10% off and improve your robot's results, just follow the instructions down in the video description. Man, this stuff stinks.
Wow, that is clean. So I was having a little trouble with this uh, PVC cement, which really isn't the best for this, uh, this PVC sheet. So I'm going to be switching for these smaller pieces to CA glue, which I've had pretty good luck with in the past. However, because it has a slick surface, it does require a light sanding with some 320 grit. You should be wearing a respirator. Enjoy your cancer. <coughs> cancer! Well, apparently it started raining while I was cutting. And I left my coffee in the house. How was that that just dropped to the ground? 
Genius. Quick tip, uh, if you want to line up holes in parts for screwing them back together when you've already run the holes, uh, run your screws in, let them poke out just a little bit. Uh, it's a real good way to get things lined up. It's also a real good way to cut the shit out of yourself. These things are sharp. And uh, you know, doing this uh, to get the dust off after you've run them through, not smart. That's one way of getting them in there.
Thank you again to Think and Tinker at PreciseBits.com for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check out the video description below to find out how you can get 10% off your purchase. Now, I have to say, I am really happy with how this turned out, but it was one of my more challenging builds. In fact, I ended up with so much extra footage this time. The extended Patreon version is, I think, twice as long. So if you want to see some of the finer points of the build, as well as my explanations along the way, just follow the link below. I also post occasional behind-the-scenes updates over there about things that I'm currently working on. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't already, and stay safe out there.